The transfer window is now officially over. Tottenham Hotspur Football Club have signed five players in this transfer window, including the latest signing, Emerson Royal, the Brazilian right-back from Barcelona. Cameron Carter-Vickers and Janiel Bennett have left the club on loan. Harry Kane has spoke out and said that he has a clear conscience and Serge Aurier's contract has been terminated. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. The transfer window now is officially closed. Tottenham Hotspur have signed five new players in this transfer window. Anyway, in today's video, I'll be going through all of the latest Tottenham news, all of the rumours and all of the reports. And if you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button. Just before I get into today's video, make sure that you download the OneFootball app for all of the live football scores, results and news, as well as getting all of the latest Spurs news on this channel. You can also see it all here. Download the OneFootball app to keep up to date with everything Tottenham Hotspur. Club news, transfer news, match information, videos, tables and results from all around the world. Don't miss out and please do let me know what you think of this app. Now let's start the video by talking about the player that we signed on transfer deadline day, Emerson Royal from Barcelona. Tottenham Hotspur put this announcement out. We are delighted to announce the signing of Emerson Royal from Barcelona, subject to international clearance and a work permit. The right back has signed a contract with us until 2026 and will wear the number 12 shirt. Later on in the official statement from Tottenham Hotspur Football Club, it says that in January 2019, he joined Real Betis and went on to make 79 appearances, scoring five goals over the next two and a half seasons. It also states that he made three La Liga appearances for Barcelona since the beginning of the current season. It then states that Emerson will travel to London from Spain later on this week. Now, my thoughts on the uh, the new signing, Emerson Royal. I've spoken at length about him in the last couple of days and in the last couple of videos. I think this is a great addition to our squad and a great addition to our starting eleven. With the amount of money that we have paid for Emerson Royal, he is clearly coming in to be the number one right back. So uh, it will be harsh on uh, on uh, Javit Tanganga when he comes in and uh, takes that spot. But you know, I think that we have got great competition now in these spots. Of course, um, Matt Doherty is still at the club. Uh, Javit Tanganga uh, is still at the club. And now Emerson Royal. Uh, it'll be interesting to see whether he will make his Premier League debut for Spurs in our next Premier League game, Crystal Palace away, Saturday week. On Tuesday evening, the Tottenham Hotspur under-23s were in action in the Papa John's Trophy away at Stevenage in our first group stage game. And we won the game 4-3 with goals from Dylan Markenday, Harvey White got two and Lyons Foster got the winner. Just before the transfer deadline at time of 11pm on Tuesday night, Spurs announced that Serge Aurier has left Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. The official club statement reads, the club can confirm the departure of right-back Serge Aurier following the mutual determination of his contract. Signed from Paris Saint-Germain in August 2017, Serge made his debut in a 3-1 win over Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League before going on to make 110 appearances for us, scoring eight goals. On his departure, Serge Aurier said, I've really enjoyed my time at Spurs and I would like to thank the club and the fans, but I now feel the time is right for me to move on to a new challenge. The official club statement then goes on to say, we thank Serge Aurier for his service and wish him well for the future. A little bit more on Serge Aurier. A report has been published by Sky Sports and it states Tottenham have terminated Serge Aurier's contract by mutual consent. The right-back's deal was set to run out at the end of the season, although Serge Aurier told the club of his intention to leave at the end of the last campaign. However, with no suitable offer on the table during this transfer window and the player deemed to have no future at the club, both parties have now decided to go their separate ways. Interestingly, Sky Sports understands that Serge Aurier had interest from Watford, Real Betis, Spartak Moscow and Genoa, but he felt that he should be playing at a higher level. Now, my thoughts on the departure of Serge Aurier, I believe that this is exactly the right time for him to leave. And I think it is a great decision by Tottenham Hotspur Football Club to uh, to cancel the contract, terminate the contract and uh, 
you know, Spurs and Serge Aurier go in their separate directions because Nuno Espirito Santo clearly didn't fancy him, doesn't fancy him uh, at Spurs, you know, hasn't been involved in the matchday squads uh, this season so far. And uh, he has come out and said on a number of occasions that he's wanted to leave the club. And there's no point having players at the club who don't want to be there. And of course, who the manager don't want to be there. You know, it's, it's best that Serge Aurier goes his separate ways and uh, Tottenham Hotspur go their separate ways as well. So I think this is a great decision. Um, I think it's very arrogant of Serge Aurier expecting a big club to come in for him. Um, you know, Sky Sports reported there stating that a number of clubs uh, were interested or are interested in him, but he believes that he could be playing or should should be playing at a higher level. So it'd be interesting to see where Serge Aurier goes next. So, uh, uh, but, you know, I wish him all of the very best. You know, he's uh, he has had some good performances in the Tottenham Hotspur shirt. I know that a number of Tottenham Hotspur fans have, uh, have slated him over the years, but um, he has put a shift in, uh, you know, on a number of occasions. So, uh, you know, as I say, wish him all of the very best for the future. Right at the end of the transfer window, uh, Tottenham Hotspur Football Club have announced that Cameron Carter-Vickers has joined Glasgow Celtic on loan for the rest of the 2021-2022 season. The 23-year-old defender, a product of our academy and a full international with the USA, has made five first-team appearances for us to date. Now, my thoughts on this, I cannot believe another loan spell away from Spurs for Cameron Carter-Vickers, this time uh, for Celtic in Scotland. And as the uh, official club statement reads there, he has only made five first-team appearances for us to date. And when you think about it, he's made it over 100 for other clubs. Tottenham Hotspur tried extremely hard on transfer deadline day to try and sell Cameron Carter-Vickers. Uh, but I think without Spurs doing what they've done with Serge Aurier, paying the contract up, I think that Spurs will now have to wait until Cameron Carter-Vickers' uh, contract expires and then he will leave. But um, as I say, um, I cannot believe how many loan spells he has had away from Spurs, but obviously wishing him all of the very best at Celtic for the remainder of this season. Another loan deal for a Tottenham Hotspur player, this time at J. Neil Bennett. He has joined League One side Crew on loan until January. The 19-year-old winger has been a regular in our academy sides in recent years and has made two appearances for our under-23s in Premier League 2 since the beginning of this season, scoring once. He has also made his first team debut as a second half sub in the first leg of our uh, Europa Conference League playoff against Pacos de Ferreira in Portugal earlier this month. Now, my thoughts on this, I'm absolutely delighted for J. Neil Bennett. Of course, you probably know that name because he was the first ever person to score a goal at the new Tottenham Hotspur Stadium uh, when the Tottenham Hotspur under-18s beat Southampton under-18s 3-1 uh, back in April 2019. Um, but I have been raving about J. Neil Bennett and Dylan Markenday all summer whilst watching the pre-season for the under-23s. And he has started the season extremely well in Premier League 2 uh, for the Spurs under-23s. Um, I think he will do extremely well at Crewe and uh, cannot wait for, for him getting some game time and uh, you know some great experience. Because, of course, he's just made his first team competitive debut as well in the uh, Europa Conference League against Pacos de Ferreira in Portugal. Um, I think that this, uh, this player, J. Neil Bennett, has a bright future ahead and uh, very excited to see him uh, back at Tottenham. Uh, once his, uh, his loan deal at Crew ends in January. But uh, I think he will get some great experience there. A report has been published by BBC Sport and they are stating that England captain Harry Kane says he has a clear conscience after a potential move to Manchester City from Tottenham Hotspur failed to materialise. Manchester City were keen to sign at the 28-year-old who believed he had a gentleman's agreement with chairman Daniel Levy to leave Spurs this summer. Harry Kane, who has a Spurs contract until 2024, is now staying and does not think his reputation has been damaged. Talking to BBC Radio 5 Live, Harry Kane said, I've said before, fans are entitled to their opinion. Obviously, sometimes they don't get the full story of what's going on. But from my point of view, I've got a clear conscience and I've just got to keep doing what I do. He then added, I'm doing everything that I'm being asked for and asked to do by the club. And I'm here now with England. I know everyone wants to know about every situation that happens over the summer. But like I said, I'm focused on what's to come and the future. 
The report from BBC Sport then states that after a summer of heavy speculation around his club future, Harry Kane says he accepts that there is going to be noise around certain situations involving a higher level sportsman. And then Harry Kane is quoted in saying... I think that the best players and the players who handle that the best are the ones who manage to have great careers. I know that there is a lot of talk going on and there are lots of questions being asked, but I stay focused on what I need to. Obviously, um, everything that went on with the club is between me and the club and that's the way it will stay. I would just like to take this opportunity to thank every single one of you for nominating me for a Football Content Award 2021. I'm absolutely thrilled, delighted and extremely surprised and shocked to say that I've been shortlisted for three awards this year. The Best Club Content Creator, the Best Club Creator and the Best in Video. Now the finalist voting round will end at midnight on Sunday the 12th of September. The winners will be revealed at the live event at the Royal Lancaster Hotel on the 14th of October. If you would like like to vote for me again in this final round it would really really be appreciated thank you very much indeed for all of your support thanks for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it please do let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section below on everything i've spoken about in today's video if you don't subscribe to the channel as yet please do hit that subscribe button enjoy the rest of your week i'll see you on the next video until then come on you spurs